Thank you. Let me put this on the screen so people know what we're on about. We're undertaking, interesting, okay. Um, in consultation with uh, Beta Engineering Group, uh, we've undertaken a study uh, in preparation of a major project to line the sewer lines on uh, primarily South Street and also down uh, Fletcher, uh, East Bacon, West Bacon. Uh, excuse me, West Bacon, thank you. Fletcher and onto the Moran, Moran Street uh, measuring station. Also down South Street to the, the uh, uh, North Attleboro line. That would be from Charlene all the way down. And up Lincoln Street all the way over to Route 1. Um, so we're going to camera those lines in preparation of preparing bid specifications to do sewer lining to see if we can't reduce some of our INI or infiltration of water into the sep into the sewer system. Um, those that project will actually start. I think it actually started today. Uh, they'll start cameraing the lines. Once they have done the camera, they will write the bid specifications and give us uh, an estimate of what they think the project will cost. And uh, we can design the scope and issue the bid project. We do have some funding from the ARPA fund uh, to pay for this. We did reserve some money under ARPA, as you know, and so not only will the engineering study be taken care of, but some of the construction costs will be taken out of the federal funds um, to do that. And we're going to start that uh, this week, and hopefully we'll have an answer back in bid documents that will be going out in December for sewer lining. And that should be, hopefully, a significant improvement in our INI. Yes, ma'am. Um, Sorry, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Chairman. <laughs> Ms. Clark. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're both guilty. Um, so as part of the study by beta, they will determine if indeed those those pipes should be lined. That yes. would be. And something I would really like to see relative to INI is I would like to see the recommendations that came from those previous studies with uh, Woodard and Curran and just a checklist of which of those recommendations were in fact completed, which were not completed, and if there's any chance of getting a ballpark on what those would cost, I think that would be helpful. Actually, I can report that uh, the preliminary data, because that was a conversation that you and I had had, mm -hmm. and it was a good suggestion, and looking into it, we have got the, we have two of the three reports that we've okay. been able to locate, and a checklist of things that we've actually accomplished Yep. Uh, that has actually been into the report, and it's actually more than I would have thought. Okay. Uh, and I'm very, uh, very pleased actually that we made substantial progress against those recommendations in the reports. So right now I'm compiling that data so Perfect. that we could give you that report because, in addition to you wanting that, I'm sure our friends in North Attleboro would like it as well. So I think we made more progress than we gave ourselves credit for, and we need to actually document that we have done these things. All right. All right. One of the points and I, I want made. to thank you for that suggestion. It was a very good suggestion. Mm -hmm. uh, but that'll be <clears throat> that's an important thing to make sure we know, we check off what we've done, and also make sure we are aware of what's left to do. Uh, and I think this also the lining of South Street and West Bacon is going to be critical, even as we make improvements in other parts of the system. As water flows anywhere, we don't want it reappearing and infiltrating, you know, down South Street when it gets down there. That's that's good news. It's movement. We need to we need to make progress here. We need momentum here. <coughs> 